Hey, how's it going? I'm Jay, and today I'm going to be watching Better Off Dead from 1985 for the first time. Despite this movie not being super popular with other reactors, this has been the most requested movie for me to react to since I watched Weird Science back when I started the channel. It gets recommended in the comments all the time, and after doing Ski School, there was an influx of people like, hey, you want skiing movies? There's some skiing in this one, so you should watch it right now. I'm familiar with John Cusack, but I haven't really seen a ton of his movies. Like, I've seen maybe a handful, like 1408 with Samuel L. Jackson, um, Identity I really, really liked, and probably the newest movie would have been Cell, which he also teamed up with Samuel L. Jackson in that one, which was terrible. But Say Anything is on my list, so I'll be going back and watching that. Uh, but I'm interested to see what this is all about. I didn't read the synopsis, so I have absolutely no idea. I'm going in blind. Uh, I just know there's some skiing in it, and that's all I know. So let's start the movie. Whoa. <laughs> what a start. This is fun. I like this little animation style. It reminds me of like early MTV days. Somebody's obsessed. Obsessed with, like, Amanda Wise, it looks like. From Nightmare on Elm Street fame. Oh no, don't you dare. Going in the shower with your socks on? What the heck? <laughs> oh, the paper boy. He's like, I hate this little bastard. Oh, he keeps breaking all the windows, so he's pissed. <laughs> this is actually like the NES Paperboy game come to real life. No, not my last window. If it is a little nighty. What is that? What is that? It's bacon. I know it's bacon. What have you done to it? And it's just like all blue stuff on it? Wow. See, if you didn't wear your socks in the shower, you wouldn't have to blow dry your socks. It's tryouts for the high school ski team. He's going up to Mount Brody with Ben. That boy is obsessed. That's what I'm saying. Look at this. What a creeper. It's funny. I recognize the mom. She's the, uh, she's Laurie Strode's aunt from the Halloween franchise. Or just like one movie. <laughs> I love it because you can see the kid was cutting out all those things earlier. He's mailing them today. Can't you wait until the... He's got to get his free sea monkeys. Your breakfast is getting cold. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, I got tryouts today. I got a nervous stomach. I would like to take a meeting with you and discuss the future of that vehicle. Okay, Dad. Noted. <laughs> I am glad that he's obsessed with somebody that, like, he actually knows. Hopefully she, like, reciprocates. This is Vicky. This is Monique, the French foreign exchange student who'll be staying with us. I think that girl was from Bill and Ted, one of the princesses. She has a really familiar mouth, as awkward as that sounds. An Alicia Silverstone kind of look. I'm a vicious, the swine of sleeping upon us. I'm equal. <laughs> In our lifetime, as the light turned green. Oh no. <laughs> Porky? <laughs> you stupid bald head, I'm gonna activate your dental. If he asked me out, of course I'm gonna go out with him. I mean, he skis the K 12. So she likes him too. Perfect. Nothing weird then. He had to buy the guy a new hat last time. Oh no. Never mind, she's into a new guy. Uh. The only person in Greendale that's ever skied the K-12 from the glacier and lived. He's great. John Cusack has some competition. He's got to win her heart by doing the K-12. What a hunk. <laughs> it's 
That's so awkward. So are they dating or? Your running time has to be under 58 seconds to even be considered for the team. Who'd like to uh, hold my clipboard? You'll make a fine little helper. What's your name? Charles Tamar. <laughs> Shut up, Keek. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> my favorite name. I can see you and I share uh, one common desire. Now get up there and let's see what you got. <laughs> A guy in the top hat, I think is Curtis Armstrong, Booger from Revenge of the Nerds. I've never seen Revenge of the Nerds, but I used to watch the reality show King of the Nerds, and he was one of the hosts. Now you show him, Rock! You show him how a skier really <laughs> skis! Not bad, though. Oh, too bad. Come on, that was awesome. I really think it's in my best interest if I went out with someone more popular. Better looking, drives a nicer car. Six months and she just dumps me for him. Six months. No, not these guys again. <laughs> Age, X champion. All right, let's go. Oh, not him again. I'm gonna break your goddamn neck. Get out of the car. <laughs> Can't believe I've seen that guy like so close to just watching Porky's. Like I've never seen him before. And now I've seen him like twice in the last month. Uh oh. Not with the extension cord. Well, not at all. You shouldn't be doing this at all. Wait, this is death here. <laughs> I haven't even been to New York City. <gasps> Mom, help. Suicide is never the answer, little trooper. Greendale is a bodaciously small town, Lane. I can't even get real drugs here. <laughs> He's just gonna go do some whippets. <laughs> Been there. What if I ski the K-12? You think she'd take me back? Now back to suicide again. I got the recipe from the ladies' home journal, but what I couldn't read, I just improvised with my own little creative ideas. Uh, I don't trust her. After seeing that bacon... Still one more thing I would like to discuss with Lane. Ew. <laughs> he just like looks at it like, uh, I don't know. Under a moldy tarp. You do know the car of which I speak? As your girlfriend, Beth, said it was, I believe the term was, tasty. <laughs> tasty? The car has slept in an auto cocoon on my front lawn. I'll get around to it. Have you seen the new exchange student? Smith probably got her so that weirdo son of theirs could. See what a real girl looks like. Just sits in that house, crochets all day long. The Chapman's. What the hell? Six months. <laughs> he practically Jesus. became a son. Can I be excused? I'm not feeling well. I don't know what mom's cooked up, but I would leave too. But also, he's just like depressed and shit. Dude, why do you waste your time with all this kid stuff garbage? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yo, Badger, he's smart as hell. Uh, it was love at first sight. Red dog, red dog, 92s. Time for a flashback. <laughs> First sight. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so, uh, how do you like Greendale? School hasn't started yet. Uh -huh. I wonder if that was some kind of unconscious message to me that there's something in my nose. <laughs> That's true. Maybe I got some dirt on my nose. Yeah. Why don't you try God, he's too embarrassed to tell me. Again. There she goes again. What could it be? Dirt? This is so true. This happens. Oh my god. Especially back then when it's first meetings and you got butterflies and you're like trying to talk to somebody. How could she throw away six months? I mean, <laughs> six months? I mean, no explanation, no reason. Oh, that cat's eating good today. And I guess so is he. Eating the cat food. I love you so <laughs> just testing me. It's probably Yes, sir. No, oh, the paper boy. Four weeks. 20 papers. That's $2. Oh, gee, Johnny, I don't have a dime. Sorry. $2. Cash. <laughs> this kid's slick. My grandmother dropped acid and she freaked out and hijacked a school bus. It's kind of a family crisis, so come back later. Great. That is also relatable. I would be like, uh... You had to wait for my parents. It's like, I don't have any money. I'm not paying you. I'm also a kid. 50 ways to leave They say that breaking up is... <laughs> 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 
All the songs are just reminding him of her. Cardinal trapezoidal, connecting the various points, creating our geometric configuration. This guy. He was a high school teacher in the other movie. I forget which one. I've watched so many movies. And I would like to see the results. Please, take them out. <laughs> oh boy. Like that somebody has a fax machine in a suitcase. <laughs> He just has a note that says do homework. <laughs> Oops. Mr. Meyer. Please join us at the blackboard and show us your solution to this paltry geometric dilemma. Time to wing it, pal. <laughs> oh, their hair goes straight up. What the hell? Thanks, Lane. Would you relax? It's just our virginity. I heard something. I assure you, we are totally alone. What's wrong? <laughs> oh, no. That thing I put on me broke. Broke? Take it easy, <laughs> Beth. I'll buy a new one. You know what that means? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got like the angles. That was good. Oh, no. I'll see you all tomorrow. Just remember to. It was Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That's what it was. So many high school movies. I, I thought it was Ferris Bueller at first, but I realized, wait, he didn't go to school. I've been going to this high school for seven and a half years. <laughs> I'm no dummy. I, I don't know. I mean, the thing about Roy is he plays the guitar. Why don't you take up your sax again? Number two. The K-12, dude. Mm-hmm. Lane, this is a bit awkward. <laughs> well, I was wondering if you would mind if I took out Beth? What? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> He's just always a weird guy, isn't he? Walking around with a fermented pig in a jar. I like that I didn't say that he was weird when I saw the fermented pig. It was only when he started snorting jello. <laughs> Oh, he's a good artist. Ah, oh, he did the intro. How could you dump me for him? You're immature. You can't do a single thing by yourself. And besides, Roy can skew the K-12. Any girl in this school would be overwhelmed with sweat just to go out with me. She'd go out with me in a second. Chris Crummins dates the basketball team. See, you, you'll be me sorry someday you want me back. Awkward. <laughs> Oh, she has roller skates on? Can I just borrow these for a minute? Buy yourself another leotard and we'll be back in a minute, okay? You skate, I skate. Uh, maybe we could get together and kind of... You're a jerk. ...be a skating team. <laughs> she, she was out. She was checked out before he even finished his sentence. Guys. Whoa! <gasps> <laughs> This guy is having a rough week or a couple days. She actually did go out on a date with him. What? I thought it was kind of like a dream. Lane? What? What are you doing? Nothing. Booger's his guardian angel. Like it's a wonderful life. Buck up, little camper. We'll beat that slope together. I'm right behind you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> And that's a real shame when folks be throwing away a perfectly good white boy like that. <laughs> Yo, that was Creighton Duke from Jason Goes to Hell, the bounty hunter. What's he doing in this? That's awesome. <laughs> this is pure snow. Have you any idea what the street value of this mountain is? Outrageous. I can't move my right arm. Go that way really fast. If something gets in your way, turn. This guy, he should be in ski school. He should be teaching. Not bad. Never, never mind. <laughs> oh, is the paper boy going to have it out for him, though? Because he didn't get paid? From Roy, a giant teddy bear bigger than you. I got to go. The Christmas tree's on fire. Now, open this one next to <laughs> Fried chicken TV dinner. <laughs> corn and season sauce. Huh? He likes corn. 
<laughs> you just got like a stack of them. Not too shabby. Come on, Ricky, don't be shy. I'll give you a present. Do you have Christmas in France? Christmas. Oh, she's a little too much for me. <laughs> you can take that wherever you go. I don't want it. Regift that one. Oh, here he goes again. How come you're so small? Everyone's going to be wearing one of these this year. Uh, yeah. well, honey, it's sure warm. This reminds me of Midsummer a lot. Wow, <laughs> <gasps> you fixed the window. I bet we get her back. Oh my god. <laughs> He's wearing it too. Everyone, she said everyone's going to be wearing them. She wasn't wrong. Your book on how to pick up trashy women came today. Tell me something. <laughs> Don't even know each other, but I know that you were going out with that girl, Beth, and... This guy's going to try and date her too? Come on, dude. Was that guy also from Fast Times? He was like the pizza delivery guy that everyone said I should know, which I still don't remember his name. And actually, Amanda Wise was also in Fast Times. There's a lot of crossover. Tonight at 6 o'clock, you're picking up Joanne Greenwald. The one with the big antenna on her face. Come on, Lane. You gotta move on, pal. It's time. I understand there's a New Year's Eve dance at your school. You kids love this disco thing. You are really bringing me over, man. <laughs> He's like learning how to talk to his son. Hey, one day, one day he'll be able to relate. One night with me and she'll probably go blind with ecstasy. Poor creature. I'm noticing how many station wagons were in 80s movies. You don't see them that often these days, but they were all the rage. Let's get something straight. <laughs> I don't want to go out with you, and I'm just doing this as a favor to my dad. First, we would have got a dinner that's 10 bucks a piece, a tax and tip, 25. Why don't you just give me that 1367 and we'll call it a night? <laughs> what the hell? How to pick up trashy women. He's actually reading it. E.G. Daily. Well, you sure got my vote for cutest couple. Better <laughs> shave her a little closer before you kiss her goodnight. He's got some good one liners. <laughs> And that guy's wearing a Freddy sweater. Oh yeah, I guess this was, what, a year after Nightmare on Elm Street. So this is like Amanda Wise's probably second movie-ish or like the movie right after. <laughs> Here comes Ricky. He's kind of got a good look going though with the white belt, all types of different patterns, which some would say clash. I think it looks all right. Look, he's got the leg going. Okay, well, that move fell a little flat. Here we go. The me cute. Here's that French kid staying with the door kids, um, Smith's next door. Monique Junet. Monique Junet. Monique, I had no idea where you'd gotten off to. I see you've made Monique's acquaintance. A number of times, yes. She's a delightful girl with a firm grip. <laughs> Get out of here, Ricky. Something's happening here. There's some chemistry. Why don't you wait in the front of the school, and when Mom gets here, you have her honk the old horn. <laughs> you should not upset Mother. <laughs> <laughs> He's a weird guy. Listen, I wanted to let you know there's an opening on the water ballet team. Honey, why aren't you with Ricky? Good night, uh, Polly Vu. There is hope yet for you, Lane. What the hell is this? Oh no. The paper boy. Two dollars. <laughs> oh, they're all coming out of the woodwork. Oh jeez. Is he gonna start getting pelted by papers? Ooh, the dolly zoom. I like all the horror 
references you got in this. We had like a little, you know, psycho music earlier. Anytime the paper boys are around, there's like some horror elements. He's on drugs. Does he have trashy women in there? <gasps> what the hell? Happy New Year. <laughs> Just close the door. What the hell, Badger? What a playa. A little playa. I guess that magazine worked, though. What? What is going on? What's taking him so long? Wayne? I told you I got him this job. It's his first day of work. I... This is such a weird movie. It's like, everything's pretty normal. Coming of age teen movie, like dealing with breakups and stuff. And then you'll have the mom and everything she does is so weird. And then you also have like the drawings and stuff. It's like, there's just these really small moments of slapstick, like the chalk on the chalkboard, making everybody's hair stand up. This. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Al Myers, kid. Yes, I am. Pat it in the pig bowl. Then you take the pig bowl and you put it up on the tray. Now put on this hat. <laughs> oh, God. Out there? You wear it with pride. Everybody wants some. Everybody wants some. <laughs> I'll show you what everybody wants. <laughs> oh, this is going to be the ultimate Frankenberger. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? We got some stop motion? He's like a California raisin, but a burger. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> All the fries hanging out by the deep fryer. Oops. Oh. Looking really good today, buddy. Looking real good. That Roy guy, his voice is perfect for his role, but so annoying. Ah! You gotta give it to him. He's a go-getter, even though he just friggin' fails immediately. Build your own space shuttle. Let's go. That's not a New York man. Oh. Have you met Monique? Hi. Well, this is awkward. He was about to <laughs> go and set himself on fire. Now he's just invited to dinner. French fries. French dressing. French bread. And to drink, Peru. Jenny Meyer, oh. you really do go to the outer limits. To she feels like she's from the outer limits, where they control the horizontal and the vertical. Are you enjoying your stay in our town? She doesn't speak English, Dad. Are you enjoying your stay? You don't need words to speak the uh, international language. The international language. <laughs> of love. Love. The language <laughs> of love. I think Monique and our little Ricky have a regular um, cross-continental romance. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, just... <gasps> I think she wants to use a bathroom. Second door. Oh no. Is she gonna die? God bless him. Mrs. Smith, no, wait. <laughs> Whoa. Gee, I'm real sorry your mom blew up, Ricky. What do you mean? The doctor said she'll be okay. I guess she just won't be able to eat any spicy foods for a while. <laughs> okay, so she didn't die, but she blew up? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this movie? Two brothers. One speaks no English. The other learned how to speak English from watching the wide world of sports. <laughs> you got this. Oh, Monique to the rescue. No, not the nuns. Well, I guess he's going to be forced to move his car now. Time to get an upgrade. Oh my god, Ricky's dead. Ricky, are you dead? I think he's dead. Monique. <laughs> Rick, I'm sorry. No I, way. I'm sorry, I didn't. <laughs> oh, Ricky's good. I'm telling my mom. 
Aw, look at how cute they are. This still goes. That's why everyone's in the station wagons. Take a lick and keep on ticking. Man, if I had my Camaro, I would blow those boys off the street. It's got an engine. You've got to deal with Roy. Take him out. On the slopes, probably is your best bet. I wonder if Monique is a really great skier and she could teach him a thing or two. He can show up Roy, but then he ends up getting with Monique and not wanting Beth. Bonjour. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? <laughs> Listen, Meyer, I just stopped by to tell you I'm going to be picking a new captain for the ski team on Sunday. Is he telling you what a great lover he is? She only speaks French, Roy. She doesn't speak imbecile. <laughs> Burn. There's one language that I speak that all women understand. Shit! Stupid! Oh, pardon moi, je suis très stupide. Oh, pardon moi. <laughs> The truth is, I can outski you any day of the week. Oh, really? I'll take you on any day, sucker. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't think you can. You're digging your own grave. No one has to know, just me and you. Sunday, high noon. You're on. High noon. At K-12? Man, you're toast, dude. Lane Meyer will be racing Royce down down K-12 this Sunday at 12 noon. I guess word got out. <laughs> The Camaro. My little brother, he's building a, a space shuttle out of household appliances. That thing's probably going to work. I can't get that out of the driveway. <laughs> oh, is she going to be a mechanic and she can get the Camaro going? Hey, Meyer, how's it going? Oh, I was trying to ski the K-12. You know, you got to be a real <laughs> moron to try to ski that run. Well. This is as bad as we'll ever get. Hopefully he doesn't end up like that guy. He hasn't made progress with the K-12, though. Oh, Not this kid. Two dollars, two dollars. Yes, get that ha hot wax on him, little bastard. How you say, dog head is an unleashed sex fiend. Holy shit, you big <laughs> faker, you speak English. I will not, however, speak international language of love, mon dieu. Mon dieu. <laughs> So sneaky, this one. I thought if Casanova and I and Zara had nothing to say to each other, he'd get bored. Instead, he uses as a chance to put his testicles all over me. Whoa. Uh, how you say, uh, octopus, uh, testicles. <laughs> tentacles. <laughs> okay. Uh, tentacles. There's a big difference. <laughs> all I want is to come to the States and see Dodger Stadium. Dodger Stadium, okay. Then you will not tell that I speak English. Cross my heart and hope to die. Do you? Not at the moment. Good, he's he's come around on the whole living thing. Get in here before you catch your death. You are my friend. Good night. Little Ricky's been looking all over for you. Oh, I was trying to figure out what was going on with her. It's because her mouth blew up. Oh. Make a wish. What's going to be nice is when he has the Camaro, he's going to be able to smoke those guys in a race. Monique, hi. Comment allez-vous? No, thanks. I already had breakfast. Hey. Come, car running. Come, help me push this into the garage. All right, let's do a car fixing montage. Oh, the oil. Look at the teamwork. Wow. You seem to think of all these ways of killing yourself, yet you never do it. What is this? Isn't that kind of personal? But I have told you all the sorry details of my intimate sex life with Ricky Smith. Wait, intimate sex life? Has she had sex with Ricky? I guess I just thought I couldn't live without her or something. You would die to get the attention of this woman? She dumped me for this real slime bag, a guy named Stalin. I raised Stalin tomorrow. Wanna beat him? Beat him? Yes! I can't beat him. You can beat him with her help. She looks too cute with all the freaking dirt all over her face. Hey, yo. Oh, they got a whole new body done, too? Does it look busted under that sheet? Oh, yeah. Here we go. They're not ready. They're gonna get smoked. Oh, I love it. The framing switched. Like, the framing is the same, but their positions have switched now. Now he's ready to race, and he's calling them out. (laughs) 
They can enjoy some late night pig burgers together. Okay. This is too cute. Oh, the TV dinners. <laughs> I have absolutely done this back in the day. Like when I was in high school, I did a date with TV dinners or like some roast chickens that I bought from Costco. <laughs> Not the sax. <laughs> he's no sexy Lost Boys sax man, but I guess he's okay. It's always awkward though. Somebody's trying to like serenade you. Like I've seen guys do it with like a guitar and the girl's just like not being interested. It's just been like really weird. I would not be a fan of being on the receiving end of like somebody playing sax for me. Be like, uh, what do I do? How am I supposed to live through this? It goes that way, really fast. And turn. If something gets in your way, turn. <laughs> oh, look at her, she's killing it. I, for one, love the big fake wig <laughs> on whoever's actually doing the skiing. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Again, he can't even make it like 20 feet without falling. Whoa. Lena, you're right? You're mad about me, aren't you? <laughs> no. No, I'm okay, really. Nothing's broken. <laughs> there we go. Learning. The headband on the wig is giving me Richard Simmons vibes. Aww. Practically everybody in the state of Northern California waiting to see one Lane Meyer tackle this slope, dead or alive, get the let out. That is all. <laughs> What's funny about Curtis Armstrong is he sounds exactly the same to this day. Like he enunciates everything the exact same way. He puts on that same voice. Language lessons. Are you gonna teach me French? The international language. Kiki's ass. Hell yeah. He's forgot about Beth though. Like he hasn't really even mentioned Beth. <gasps> oh no. His binding is broken. The paper boy. I want my two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going one ski. Show. Okay, kill me down. Oh, Meyer, you don't know when to quit. He's actually gonna do it with one ski just because he's afraid of the freaking paper boy. <gasps> he's still yelling, two dollars. <laughs> Shut up, kid. Get out of here. Oh. <gasps> kid just got Mac and Mead. <laughs> oh, wow. Skiing on one ski is pretty awesome. And being able to like look back and do some moguls. Come on, little buckaroo! Come on, little buckaroo! You got this, pal. The triumphant music. He's gonna do it. Whoa, by just a sliver, but he did it. Take that, Roy. You're the hottest thing since Sunburn! <laughs> No, get away from her. Monique is your girl. We've been worried about you, Monique. What are you doing up here? Do you know how long a drive? No, not like this. What brought on such an enchanting, accelerating thing? Language lessons. Language lessons. <laughs> what are you doing with her? She's come with me. Do something to him. Little sword fight, some fencing. 
<laughs> oh, this guy's a wild boy. <laughs> he just picks her up and runs. Ooh, the black mirror with the red interior. <laughs> oh. A nerdy girl. More Ricky's speed? Let's go. Ricky! Ricky! Okay, I like that. I don't think that Ricky deserves a happy ending for himself. Dodger Stadium. Kissing on home plate on a Camaro with a saxophone. My guy. No! <laughs> Two dollars! Perfect. What is going on in there? Yes, the rocket ship. <laughs> What the actual hell? Why not? This movie went places. And that was Better Off Dead. That was such a wacky and weird movie, but it was so fun and enjoyable. And just like the soundtrack, the cheesiness, there's some great one-liners, awkward situations. But the most standout parts are definitely like just the weird over-the-top stuff. For example, that space shuttle scene at the end or the tentacles and the thing that the mom was cooking or just him like jamming all these Q-tips in his nose and his ears and everything. It's not necessarily a spoof on other 80s movies, but it kind of is a little bit of a dig. It's like, yeah, we have this like bare bones story of like, okay, we need to outski this guy to win the girl. But they've added all this other weird stuff that just makes it a goofy movie at the end of the day. Uh, considering like the darkish tones that it had, like John Cusack wanted to kill himself like the whole movie and was very close at times, whether on purpose or not. But he got over it. He met someone new. He moved on with his life. And he'll probably never think of Beth again, unless he hasn't gotten rid of all of the pictures in his room yet, which I hope he has, because it's going to be awkward if Monique comes over. And it's just like, oh, welcome to my room. Uh. This is another fun movie that you guys recommended that I wouldn't have otherwise watched because I had never heard of it before. I did start this channel to watch popular movies that I hadn't seen, but it's also nice to kind of put those aside sometimes and just do stuff like this and Summer School and Valley Girl and just watch some of these underrated or maybe under underappreciated or underviewed movies. Like it seems like these all have big cult followings, especially with a lot of you that have grown up in the eighties. And these were like your teen movies. Like it's great to see. And I definitely want recommendations for more. If you have them, let me know in the comments and let me know your thoughts on my reaction. Give me some facts and some trivia about the movie. And if you like my reaction, please like this video. It helps me out. And if this is your first time here, please subscribe. I do all types of 80s and 90s action, comedies, dramas, basically anything. Once again, I've been Jay. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.